Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. Today we are going to simplify the following expression. And without further ado, let's get started right now. First, we deal with these two nested radicals on the right. The first thing we can do is to combine into a single nested radical, which gives 2 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 3 times 2 minus square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 3. Now notice that this inner part is in a plus b times a minus b form. Therefore, we can use the famous formula a squared minus b squared. So we have 2 squared minus square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 3 squared and squaring will simply remove this radical sign. So we have 4 minus 2 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 3, which gives 2 minus square root of 2 plus square root of 3. And we can basically repeat this process. So for these two, first combine so 2 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 3 times 2 minus square root of 2 plus square root of 3. Then use the formula to expand. So 2 squared minus square root of 2 plus square root of 3 squared. So we have 4 minus 2 plus square root of 3. So 2 plus square root of 3 here, and 2 minus square root of 3 here. And if we repeat this again, it is 2 plus square root of 3 times 2 minus square root of 3. So it is square root of 2 squared minus square root of 3 squared, which is square root of 4 minus 3, which is square root of 1, which is 1. Now, some of you might want to raise the question, wait, did you just use this property of radicals? But aren't there cases where square root of a times square root of b results in minus square root of a b? You know, like this case. Here, square root of minus 2 can be written as square root of 2i, where i is the imaginary unit and square root of minus 3 can be written as square root of 3i. Here, this square root of 2 times square root of 3 is equal to square root of 2 times 3, an already familiar property that we use countless times for positive real numbers, and i times i gives i squared, which is minus 1, so we have minus square root of 6, which is minus square root of minus 2 times minus 3. But here's the thing. The only case where square root of a times square root of b results in minus square root of a, b is when both a and b are negative. In every other cases, the result is always positive square root of a, b. And back to our problem. You will notice that whenever we multiply two radicals in the process, one of the two inner parts always consists of only plus signs, making it definitely positive. In fact, even for this suspicious part right here, this part, square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 3, is less than square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus 2, which is square root of 2 plus 2, which is 2. So even this inner part is positive. And similarly, you can easily show that every inner part of the radicals shown in the process is positive. So we can definitely use this property with no problem. And that was all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons. And I will see you in another video.